the only thing we could find is the budget for the first two movies, and we couldn't find nothing else. So we literally wrote down, why bother? Let me tell you how it's about to go. Let me show you the towel you're about to throw. This is hip hop, try to run in our house for knock your ass straight out the door. I'm the enemy's epitome, the fantasy, my tendency to mentally give your career the death penalty. I instantly advise you to match my. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Lost Legend TV. We are Rated Ready MC, MC, and I'm Ray. And I'm James. Today we're doing more of the monster bracket. Uh, we're doing it versus Killjoy. Now, a lot of you probably don't know what Killjoy is. But don't worry, Ray will explain it to you. So, you know how this goes. This, If this is your first video of this bracket, you need to go back and watch the rest of the videos. You're but behind, my friend. You're behind. But we're going to start off with which one had a better plot, sequels, which one kept it fresh uh, throughout the entire franchise. And now, it technically only has three movies, even though they split the first one into two parts. Basically, you got uh, a clown being that's been around for a long ass time. Uh, every 27 years, he attacks and tries to kill people. Mm -hmm. He attacks this group of kids uh, in the original film and the first one. And it's, um, they call themselves the Loser Club. There's uh, Beverly, Ben, uh, Billy, Mike, Mike, Eddie, um, Richie. And Richie. And like throughout the entire first film, it's just him coming at them for their fears. Like what, what? Because what he feeds on is fear. And then you got like when we get to the remake, which just doubled down on what was yeah. so good in the first one, and just like made it so much better. Like the fears felt so much scarier. You know what I mean? And then like the second one, it chapter part two, the one the last one came out. It's not. It's 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 a good film. Yeah, it's great. It film. does not. It's not as good as the first one. Mm. And it, it, it ran a little long. It, like, I enjoyed everything that was in it. They, they spent a lot of time recapping the first film. Still. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen our It remake video, mm -hmm. go check that out. Mm -hmm. I mean, we go in detail. I think we, that was almost an hour long video. Yeah. I mean, you and Skylar. So, um, and then you've got like, like a bunch of different plot devices. Like in the original... Um, it turns into like a spider into in the sewers, mm. the visible spot like very uh, clear. In the remakes he doesn't really turn into a spider. He has spider like appendages in parts. Um, in the second one, there's a whole like possible like gay thing with Richie and Eddie. Like Richie might have had like a thing for him, and like he never could like. I think I think they basically said that he did. I, mean, I don't think it's coincidence. A lot of people got that vibe. Yeah, you know. Like, I think that was... And that was nowhere near in the first one. Like, in the first one, there was, like, a love triangle. Like, a, there's a love triangle on both of them, but it was more prevalent in the 90, like, It film. And then which, which, which It did you prefer? Did you prefer, um... Tim Curry. Tim Curry and... Mm, Bill Skarsgård. Bill Skarsgård. So, which one did you prefer? <clears throat> it's hard to say, man, because it's like in the 90s, it was just a TV film. Mm. And it was solely acting, whereas the, the remake... The first one was really good, whereas the second one was a lot of CGI. I think they belong where they are. Yes. Like, they fit perfectly in the timeline. Like, Tim Curry fit perfectly in the 90s. Bill, new, yeah. modern, you know? And I love how the first film came out at the, on one day, and like 27 years later, they brought the first one out. Yeah. That was kind of clear. That was dope. So, Killjoy, the story of Killjoy is, Killjoy is, he takes the form of a clown. Mm -hmm. He is a, a vengeful demon you summon to get revenge on somebody. First story goes, it takes place in this really violent hood. And you have this guy named Michael who has his crush on this girl and he gets accidentally killed. And in return, she calls Killjoy to kill the thugs and the guy responsible for Michael's killing. Mm -hmm. It's very important to remember Michael because he comes back later in the series. Mm -hmm. Killjoy 2 takes place about these these juvenile kids and these cops being transported somewhere else, but they get broke down in this woods. This is where Trent Haga comes in as Killjoy. Mm -hmm. He's way better than the first one. The first one's horrible. Oh, it's awful. It's so bad. Just disclaimer, the first one's so horrible, I wouldn't recommend it to everybody. Mm -hmm. Two's tolerable, three, four, and five, like up there. Mm -hmm. 
So three goes on. It's about these college kids in this house and staying at this professor's house for the weekend. It turns out the professor, which is Michael's dad from the first one, brought Killjoy in. And he's basically using the damn students as a way to summon him so he can try to kill him, which doesn't work. That's where you also get Betty Boop and his um, Killjoy sidekicks. Mm -hmm. So number four, which is my personal favorite, Killjoy goes to hell. Killjoy breaks the rules of realms, and um, he gets basically sentenced in hell, and he has to fight his way out. And, like, this is where the character himself, you start to pull for him. Like, in the first one, he was just goofy. The second one, they was trying to act serious. The third one, he was a little goofy. This one, it becomes kind of personal, you know? Now, five, <laughs> Killjoy Cycle Circus is Killjoy is basically a little humanized now, and he has a fucking reality TV show on the internet <laughs> trying to stay relevant. Mm -hmm. It's a little goofy, but it's still really, really good. Which, that's the first one I saw. Again, a four is the best, hands down. Yeah. <clears throat> so, if we compare these, the first two Killjoy movies are trash. Nope. Even with a new a new actor as Killjoy, it's st the second one is still not good. You go to it, changing Pennywise... Did nothing to diminish the like uh, oh. the films, like it. They're they're really great films. Like if you've never seen the the it films, like the book is cr incredibly fucked up, but the movies are great. Mm, yeah, that's fucking great. Like it was even great as a TV movie. Yeah, you know? Tim Curry is so just underrated, dude. He's, he's, so he's underrated as fuck. People don't know that man's resume. No, they don't. So uh, if we if we we go down to it, there's not even a need for account for this. Nope. Um, it takes it like hands down. Hands down. It takes the first point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, in the it box office, um, the first one, like the the first TV movie, we couldn't find anything for it. Not even like a box office, but maybe like DVD sales or anything for it. So it was hard to like to find anything for it. We did find the budget for it. It was it was twelve million. Yeah, Which, that, that was easy to find. Which that's a that's a common problem we had in our research, like TV movies or VODs. It's we just call it even. Yeah, like even look like we we looked for hours for mm -hmm. like for like, like anything that would even come uh, come close to like sales. Um, but the the last two actually had some stuff. So. The first, <laughs> the first remake made seven hundred and one million dollars alone, and then uh, if you add it all up together, the total box office, without even counting the TV movie, is a uh, one point one billion dollars. That's a billion dollars, like for a franchise, for a horror franchise. That's that's fucking impressive. Mm -hmm. That that's, made just as much as The Exorcist, the second one. Yeah. It did. The uh, the second it movie made about the same as the original Exorcist movie, yeah. and the first one blew it out the water. <laughs> yeah. So we move on to Killjoy. The only thing we could find is the budget for the first two movies, and we couldn't find nothing else. So we literally wrote down, "Why bother?" Like we tried so hard. Like, there was no way the Killjoy movies were gonna have the same box office as it. Um, well, even if it was a good franchise, it's not touching a billion dollars. No, it was a fucking landslide. And it's, it's not that he like we don't enjoy like like Killjoy. You no. know what I mean? And if you don't know what Killjoy, I mean, I still think you should watch it. If you, you can bear through one and two, you'll be fine. Um, we, like we didn't we didn't know any of the numbers, but like once we did the numbers on it, and then we like he looked for Killjoy stuff, and then I went and looked for it. And then we came back together and was like, look, I can't find anything. Not a so we were just like, all right, well, I know what it's is, and there's no way it made a billion dollars. No possible way. So it, it takes it by a landslide. It takes it box office. Now we're coming down to critical response. We got three for for it. Uh the highest was um remake, which was uh seven point two four out of ten, which mm -hmm. is really good. The lowest was the second chapter. Which was six point one one out of ten, which is still really good. You average it all out together, it's six point seven four out of ten. Very good. Very good. And that's one thing to consider. Like if you've seen our previous videos so far and if you're caught up, just these averages are good. 
Yeah. They didn't fall below six. No. There's several several of these That's like that we great. that we really like that didn't even make fifty percent or like five out of ten. You go on to kill joy. The critical response, the highest one was number four, my personal favorite, which is a five out of ten. Mm -hmm. The worst one, which I agree as well, is the first one. It was a two point six out of ten. You take all the averages, averages out to three point eight five out of ten. Right. So uh, it takes the critical uh, round, but uh, now we do the audience scores and the highest audience score again. Uh, this doesn't really change. It was eighty six for the the remake, and then both the TV film and the second chapter got sixty three percent. So it averages, that's cool though. Yeah, that's time. So it averages out to like sixty eight point seven five percent. If we want to be on the money about it. Yep. So we got to kill Joy. The highest was again. Number four, with a 38%. Which is not looking good. Nope. The worst one was two, somehow, with a 23%. Wow. You average all this out, it only comes up to 31.25%. Which means it takes it in a sweep. Sweep, my friends. And, like, we didn't just add this in there just, like, so that, like, it would have no competition. Like, it's, like, it's not my favorite out of like, all the horror movies we have here. If, if that was the case, I would have like, I would have set the table for fucking Friday the 13th and made it to the championship. Yeah. Um, but it was randomized, and honestly, at the end of the day, I, I regret putting Kill Joy in there. I did too. Like, I like, wish I would have put something like Jeepers Creepers. It was like, it was the clown thing. It was like, oh, it'd be kind of cool. Battle of like, the Clowns, you know? Yeah, like, like if it, if it came down to like, the clowns going against each other, and then once it came down to it, it was like, oh, that's still really cool. You know what I mean? But, doing the numbers, it became very obvious early on that it was going to destroy Killjoy. It takes it, on, takes it, and it will take on it versus Anaconda next round. I, I doubt there's a way that you believe that Killjoy would have beat it. No, because you probably don't know what Killjoy is. <laughs> but if you know what Killjoy is, talk about it. Yeah. Like I said, Ray, Ray is, it, like, he got into it, like, how long ago? Like, no, it was, I don't know, two or three years ago. Yeah, and he got into it, and like, so he, he he's watched it more than I have. Like I know, I know the I know about it, but I'm not like on it like he is. Like um, I had the the honor of like I just went out on the fucking limb, bro. Mm -hmm. And I went and I messaged Trent Hogger on Facebook, right? Yeah. And he actually fucking replied to me. I was like, hey, you know what's what's the future of Killjoy? Just for shits and giggles. Yeah. I wasn't expecting a reply. He was like, well, I'm not sure. I haven't been in in talks with you know Full Moon Productions, but. You know, it was just, it, it's cool to have, you know, like an open line of communication is something you relate to, you know? Yeah, I thought it was pretty dope. So real quick, before we end the video, fearfulness. So which one would you be more afraid yeah. of? P.S. Or Killjoy? P.S. Just. Because he's going to play off my fears, dude. He's legit going to play off my fears. But if you get out of town, you're fine. <laughs> Hear me out, though. Okay. Killjoy is, is a demonic... Vengeful spirit, he will follow you wherever okay. you go. I versus get that. versus, you know, it who's who resides in Derry and only Derry. Yeah. Evidently, he has this this thing mentally where you actually fucking forget about him. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get you. But which actually can play against your favor. Mm -hmm. You know, I never thought about that. Till yeah, now. That's what I'm saying. Think about that. He's like, yeah, I forget about it. And like, oh, my family lives in Derry. You know, I'm going to go back to Derry. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like, it, it's a non-ending cycle. And the fact that he will play off of my fears and, like, I Fucking feel like... Fucking manifest into him. I exactly. Like you know what I mean? And and that's nothing against Kojo. Because, like I said, he is a vengeful spirit demon. Like, I know he would follow me. But the fact that I know that it would know my actual fears... And well, turn man, them against me. It's fearfulness, you know? Yeah. I feel like it would come down to a coin flip, honestly, in that situation. We got to, to that point. I, f I feel like it has a, a, a slider edge on that anyway. But, okay, let me ask you this. Would you be more afraid of the 90s or the, the modern it? Modern. Like I said earlier, I think Bill Scarsgard just, like, made it scarier. Like, I, I think Tim Curry was amazing as Pennywise. A beautiful performance. But I think Skarsgård took it to another level with the fearfulness. 
I really liked it in the first one. I really didn't like the portrayal in the second one. I still liked it. I thought it was good. Especially I, the, the first ending, one was man. More. The ending, he was the, like, yeah. and he he was baby crying. I'm the eaters of worlds. I don't know. I, I didn't fuck with that. Well, just, I, I don't think they should have done that ending. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I, I get, like, making him, like, lesser or whatever, but him turning into a little blob baby thing, that was that was trash. That's, that's, yeah, that's what kind of what like diminished that movie for me. But that's going on a tangent. Yeah. So, it takes it by a landslide. Mm-hmm. We have another sweep. <laughs> it will go on to face Anaconda. Mm-hmm. Anaconda has some pretty good kills in it. Mm-hmm. So we get the kills. Something nice. I mm-hmm. don't know, like, because I don't remember the numbers for Anaconda or nothing. So we'll have to get there. But like I said, tell us what you thought about like the Killjoy franchise. Um, if for whatever reason in your mind you feel like Killjoy absolutely would have been it, beat it, explain to us. Please tell us. But until next time, y'all. This is Adios. From the cat like that, what's slam? Then it's back to your crotch, just my crew just might roll on you like